So an individual, it's sort of like Roger Clemens and a fastball. A fastball is you're losing seven milliseconds off your fastball as you get older. And it's a lot of factors, almost too many to keep up with. Well, that's good. There's hormones, testosterone. There's 21 bioidenticals that we work with. There are blood flow factors. You're getting, basically, you're aging. You burn up. Well, aging is a good definition is you burn up, you dry up, you swell up, you turn to stone, you get choked to death, you rust, and then you're called old. So you burn up is oxidized. Your brain is actually losing cells. So your brain loses cells, the number of cells. So the answer to oxidizing has always been antioxidants. My answer to oxidizing, which is this low output thing. Low output is the loss of voltage across here. This is your performance gap. Your performance gap is your increasing responsibility, your decreasing output, and your decreasing quickness. And now you can't keep up. And so most generals burn out, most leaders burn out and drop out. And you burn up is you lose brain cells. Your myelinization in the brain due to hormonal loss, your actual highways get potholes. I call it like amyloid. They, get, uh, they basically get sticky with sugar and they get potholes and then they get calcified plaques because the way in which your brain puts out the fire, your head catches fire and your brain is on fire as you're getting older and you're trying to control the fire. So your bones throw calcium salts into your brain to stop it from burning out. There's only one problem. It hardens the plaque and blocks all your highways. So now, remember I said you burn out, burn up, you dry up. So everyone knows like a woman at 30 is already using moisturizers because her FSH and LH are up and her ability to handle water, even men, we're all be going from a grape to a raisin. And so the water can't, is, the water retention does not control the intensity of the brain's output. So by 60, everybody's ventricles tend to swell where the water has left the brain, and where's it gone? It's gone into the sewage, gone into the lake, the lake of spinal fluid. And that's actually where you make your new brain cells, and eventually we hope that you're all going to get smarter, and out of this spinal cord, uh, out of this uh, basic region of the brain where you retain fluids, and you have the big uh, ventricles, you grow new brain cells. So now you're avoiding, you have to eventually avoid burning, losing cells. You have to avoid losing water. And then what's the opposite of keeping the flame of the brain going? Inflame. So all the illnesses that are destroying your brain's processing speed and voltage are all inflaming you, giving you elevated uh, C-reactive protein and sed rates and homocysteine and now you're getting swellings and, and of all types. You're retaining fluid outside, you have edema. So you're inflaming. And then you're turning to stone as you get older. So you burn up, dry up, swell up, turn to stone. And the calcium keeps pouring out into the brain, slowing up even more. So each decade, you're slowing down faster and faster. There we go. So you're slowing down faster and faster. Each decade, you're losing 7 milliseconds, 10 milliseconds. And then you get choked to death. During this calcification process, your, blood, your actual cerebral blood flow on transcranial Doppler goes from age 20 to half of what it used to be. So all of you are losing blood flow. So you say, oh my god, how can, you know, everyone's like, their relationships are either strained or they feel strained. And yet you're confronted with aging, where all of a sudden your brain has got less blood flow. And muscle makes up for some of the loss of cerebral blood flow by causing angiogenesis, but it can't make up for all these things. So that's another way in which you choke to death. And then, of course, you rust. If you go to New York right now and we do a chelation challenge, what do we mean by rust? 90% of you will have lead come out of your urine when you do an internal cleansing, whether you call it a baptism or mikvah. Chelation is an internal cleansing, and out comes lead, cadmium, aluminum, arsenic, they're all in your brain and in your plaque. So now you realize what your brain is up against. It's up against uh, burning up, drying up, swelling up, calcifying, bone loss, 
muscle deteriorating, uh, accumulation of heavy metals, and inflammatory processes. And that's what they call age. And I'm not a big fan of age. At 52, 35 years of doing this, I think that we should all see death defeated and aging defeated, and, the only, and we should have an increase. This curve should be the reverse. We should get smarter. But this is the core of why 50, 60, 40, 50, 60, everybody kind of crashes sooner or later. Now, a lot of people are deceived that their brain is functioning better at your age. And the reason why they're deceived, this is basically, this is a graph of what you see happen. When between 25 and 40, verbal ability can go up and numerical ability can go up and peaks. At the same time, a lot, you know, if you look at the history of genius, all the Einsteins of the world tend to write their best or create their best work, Einstein, Newton. They create it here when they have all these other areas of ability and then later they explain themselves. Now, a guy like uh, President Reagan, a man like President Reagan might have, if you look over here, the most preserved function is verbal ability. So that gives, you know, and listening to Kissinger the other day, he had great verbal ability, but he's a midget of osteoporosis. So verbal ability can say up while people have partial dementias. So what we actually do is we kind of tease out dementia into uh, dozens of components. Now, this may be new to you, but the majority of you know how many ways can I get heart disease. They know they can get heart disease through C-reactive protein, uh, rheumatic fever, bad, you know, as a kid, bad valves. Everyone knows about coronary calcium, coronary artery disease, vasospasm. Some people have actually gotten scared to death, you know, where people go into arrhythmia and they die. Uh, some people get heart disease from alcohol, uh, atrial fibrillation, enlarged atrium, cardiomyopathy. We have so much knowledge of that, but dementia and deterioration of the brain is in a lot of areas. Areas of speed of processing, voltage or number of cells, inductive reasoning, spatial orientation, perceptual speed, numer numerical ability, verbal ability, verbal memory. And then we divide it even further for those of you who will, will see, is that we go into verbal, oh, thank you, verbal, uh, we go into verbal memory, visual memory, immediate memory, in other words, what people say, and there's so many factors. Eventually, as I became a student of this, we learned that visual memory was very responsive to testosterone in men.